What is going on my Doom Patrol posse? Yes, it is I, KP Informer, the most informed. You already know the vibes. We are back with another episode recap for Doom Patrol Season 2, Episode 6, Space Patrol. If you are new here, I would strongly urge you to hit that subscribe button as I will be doing weekly breakdowns of each insane Doom Patrol episode that comes out this season. And what an insane episode this was. We pick up right after the climactic finish of the previous episode. Niles launches a mansion-wide sweep to find Dorothy with Cliff's help. Cliff ends up finding a comatose Jane well before finding Dorothy, and despite Jane's alarming physical state, um, Niles' focus is still only on Dorothy's whereabouts. Larry interrupts them both, uh, making them all aware of a spaceship that lands on their front lawn. No biggie. Niles is aware of who their visitors are and has no interest in engaging them, um, as his focus is still on finding Dorothy. The uninvited guests introduce themselves as the pioneers of the Uncharted a group of astronauts that Niles enlisted over 65 years ago, uh, which also happens to be how long they've been in space for. It comes a bit more evident why Niles wanted to avoid them, uh, they're goofy as all hell. Uh, well at least the two men in the group, Zip and Specs. The Russian female astronaut, Valentina Vostok, whom they offensively refer to as Moscow, uh, seems to be the brains of the operation. While Zip and Specs go off in the mansion to play. Uh, Valentina reveals that Niles used them back in 1955 to figure out the negative energy he ultimately used on Larry. Valentina shares a negative spirit, just like Larry. Uh, the only difference is that she's learned to embrace it and live in harmony, uh, a lesson she ultimately tries to impart with Larry. Larry realizes this is the reason why her and the astronauts were able to stay so young. Uh, well, at least that's her reason. Things get a bit dark when it's revealed that Speck and Zip were actually dead and are just reanimated corpses kept alive by alien spores. Larry and Valentina give them both proper burials. Back in Jane's subconscious, uh, the personalities decide to hold a funeral for baby doll and flaming Katie. Uh, the two inhabitants that were victims to Candlemaker's wrath in the last episode. Jane refuses to believe that baby doll and flaming Katie are dead as the underground is just a construct. Which would raise an interesting point, because wouldn't that kind of make Dorothy's Candlemaker a construct as well? All of Jane's personalities opt to throw the two in a well, as that's what happened to their last primary, Miranda. In a failed attempt to stop them from going through with it, Miranda emerges from the well, encouraging them to do the same to Baby Doll and Flaming Katie. This series of events somehow bring Miranda back as their primary by the end of the episode. Let's check back in with Niles and Cliff, shall we? They eventually find a note from Dorothy, a goodbye note alerting them that she'll be leaving the planet for good. She steals the spaceship that the pioneers of the Uncharted came in on and leaves for the moon. Niles goes into pursuit with his own spaceship and extorts Cliff into helping him. They land on the moon to find Dorothy playing with rocks and Niles allows Cliff to win her back. After a cute little heart to heart, uh, Dorothy comes back around Niles also makes her promise that she'll never make another wish to Candlemaker. During their trip back, uh, Niles gives Cliff a sincere thank you for saving Dorothy. And just when we start to feel a little bit of remorse for the maniacal scientist, he ejects Cliff into space. Deep space. Back on planet Earth, uh, Rita auditions for a play of Our Town, uh, which ironically ends up being a rendition of her experience blobbing out in Cloverton back in season 1. Rita unfortunately doesn't get the part of the blob lady, but it instead goes to another cast member. Isabel Feathers, uh, Rita's now arch nemesis. Isabel gives Rita a hilarious psychoanalysis of her own character, which already assures to me that I'm going to love the scenes between these two. Checking back in with Vic and Roni, these two little toxic lovebirds just can't seem to get enough of each other. After performing a scan on her body, Vic uncovers a defect in her from the tech that the government removed from her body. She's being poisoned by it. Too simp for her, I mean, save her. Vic decides to hack into the government to find parts to repair her. Realizing the tech was made by Star Labs, uh, Cliff reaches out to his dad, who tries to set him straight, uh, when he realizes he's going through all these great lengths to save a girl he doesn't really know. This episode did a great job setting up a whole lot of crazy-ish for future episodes, uh, so it unfortunately didn't serve too much justice in the excitement department. However, it does give us a lot to look forward to in the next week's episode, Dad Patrol. Hope to see you all back for it. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you all in my next one.